Thanks for joining us on the John Mandola Show. We're driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. Let's talk Walla Paw Pack Wrestling. Joining us is the head coach, Steve Krishnowski, and a junior that's a pretty good guy. His name is Chase Gallick at 132 pounds. We'll coach a, another successful year for Walla Paw Pack. Uh, tell us about your team this year, and then we'll talk about Chase shortly. Oh, uh, yeah, we had a, a very good year. You know, it's our 13th year since we've had the program back. Um, you know, it was our first year that we uh, had 20 wins as a program. Uh, and we, of course, we travel all over the state, you know, to get better competition. Uh, we have five, six guys over 20 wins, another three over 30 wins. So it's been a pretty darn successful year. Well, the guy we're going to talk about is Chase Gallick. He's a junior at 132 pounds. And the bracket for District 2 was uh, as loaded as it gets. And only three guys get through. Uh, one great wrestler did not make it. But uh, Chase made it, finished third at District 2. Uh, and, and again, just a, a tremendous uh, amount of talent there. Tell us about Chase and, and why he's so good. Uh, Chase is so good. His dedication to the sport. I mean, uh, he's dedicated. He's a year-round kid. Uh, he busts his butt. Um, I know I said earlier um, on Friday, I even told you what a, what a great student he is. Um, he's really cerebral as far as, you know, academics and the sport. Um, there's such a carryover, uh, the way he studies his opponents. He really carries over his, his classroom mannerisms, actually, to the wrestling match. Um, and he takes everything super serious, and he's 100% with everything he does. Coach, when you talk about wrestlers that you've had through the program, you've had a, a lot of talented guys, that's for sure. What is it about Chase, other than, you know, he, he's so smart on the mat, or is that what gives him the edge? You think that maybe some other wrestlers that maybe you would say had a little more talent, but Chase kind of has that whole package. Oh, he's definitely the whole package. I mean, as far as kids are concerned, I mean, he knows where that other guy's going before he knows where he's going, and that's really what makes Chase special. Um, he can outthink a kid. And he, and he really, really keeps his calm on the mat. Uh, he's never too high, too low. But I'll tell you what, he's always smiling. You know, and he, the one really unique thing about him, he, he just relishes competition. You know, we could bump Chase against the best kid from any team. We could bump him up a weight. And with a smile, he goes out there, and I'll tell you what, he gives it everything he's got. Well, let's welcome in Chase Gallick here on the John Mandola Show, driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. Well, Chase, you didn't get first this weekend. You got third. You get the chance to move on. I'm sure that feels pretty good after it settles in after a day or two. Yeah, it does feel pretty good. Right about now, all I'm thinking is about taking it one match at a time. I made it to regionals, which was all I had to really do, and I just actually looked, and they have the brackets up for regionals right now, and I have a pretty good seat, I think. Well, Chase, talk about uh, going on the mat and going against the kid from Delaware Valley, the Palmer kid, who's an outstanding wrestler. Uh, you got him uh, a couple of weeks ago. He got you this weekend, but uh, a great match. Yeah, it was a pretty good match. I just, last time I pushed the pace a lot, so I tried doing that again this time, but he made a couple of different, uh, couple of different uh, adjustments to what I was doing, and he just got the better of me this time. What's it like going against him? Uh, he's a one heck of a wrestler for District 2, and, and obviously he has all those wins as a senior. He's got a lot of experience. But, uh, you know, uh, I'm sure, as, as Coach mentioned, you study all your opponents. Yeah, he's a complete athlete pretty much. He's really, really quick on the mat, and he knows what he's doing a lot. I just tried to go out there and just get, take it to him sometimes, but sometimes that just doesn't work. He's really good on top and really, really good on in neutral. What do you think makes you such a good wrestler? Coach mentioned that uh, you know you're the total package. You're always thinking out there. You know uh, you use your head a lot when you're on the mat. Uh, talk about what you see or what you kind of you know self evaluate yourself when you're out there wrestling. I think it has a lot to do with mental toughness. Just being able to go out there and push through it when you're tired, and especially in the practice room, keep pushing when you're tired. To make yourself better well chase coach i think hit hit the nail on the head when he said that you know you never get too high too low you kind of have that even keel is that uh, kind of one of those family traits for the galax <laughs> well i guess so a little bit um uh, my dad he when i was growing up he always said you got to keep going after it you got to keep pushing harder and harder and he always used to tell me whenever i went on the wrestling mat no matter what i had to be ready to wrestle so even if I was just going out there to have fun, I had to always be ready to wrestle. Talk about your relationship with uh, Coach Krasnowski and 
what's that like and what does he try to get out of you when you're on the wrestling mat or maybe when you're in the wrestling room trying to push you a little bit? Crush is a great mentor. He's really a great guy. Uh, he was my English teacher this year, and I really got to see him uh, in both the classroom and in the wrestling room and see how his teachings in the wrestling room also translate to how he teaches in the classroom. Uh, he's really into the kids. He's all about the kids. He likes having fun with us a lot, especially in the wrestling room. There's always a couple of days during the week where he gives us a little break. Like sometimes we play a little dodgeball or something just to keep the morale high. And I think that's important, especially in high school, because some kids, they're not all year-round wrestlers like me. They're, they're just for the season. So it helps keep the kids into it, and it helps keep uh, – even the year-round wrestlers feeling a little happy in the middle of the season, especially when you're cutting a little weight. We're talking with Chase Gallick here on the John Madola Show, driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers, also his coach, Steve Krishnowski. And, uh, Coach, you talk about having a kid like Chase in your classroom. you you got to stay on your toes when he's number one in his class. Oh, you have no idea. you know. And, and the other thing, like I said, um, great student, great athlete, great wrestler, and you know, most importantly, a terrific young man. Um, you know, he's a throwback kid. Um, you know, both of us, you know, John, we graduated, you know, 25 years ago. And he's a kid like you'd see back in the day. Um, he'll do whatever you need. He's a leader. I mean, natural born leader. I mean, like I said before, he is the total package. And I'll tell you what, if I can get another five or six like him, life would be pretty darn easy. <laughs> well, uh, when you talk about regionals co- coming up, Coach, uh, you know, he's going to go in as the three and you go down into the Lehigh Valley. That's never an easy task. But, uh, you know, sometimes uh, people take people lightly and, and uh, you know, sometimes that works uh, to other people's advantage. And a kid like Chase, uh, he mentioned he's going to study each guy and it's definitely going to be a one opponent uh, match at a time. That's going to be his approach. Oh, definitely. It's definitely going to be his approach. But I can tell you this much. Um, everybody from here to District 11 to District 12 knows Chase. Um, like he said before, he does a lot of off-season wrestling. Um, and guarantee you this, no one will take him lightly. Um, people who've seen him wrestle know what he's about. Um, they know what he brings to the mat. And uh, even though he'll be leaving District 2 as a third, and sometimes that's daunting for a District 2 wrestler, uh, for Chase, I heard him say before, you know, he just takes everything one match at a time. Um I'll tell you what, he, we both know he could beat anybody anytime. Uh, we were at a tournament this, uh, I believe in January down in Unionville High School down outside of Philly, and he wrestled the national prep champion from St. Paul's. And I'll tell you what, Chase gave him everything he could handle. And right then you knew what you had. And you, you had a kid that could beat anybody at any given time. And you know what, that's what we're hoping for. Wrestling, you know, what can you do from week to week? And, and Chase's mentality enables him to be able to beat anybody at any time. Chase Gallick, uh, welcome back to the John and Dola Show. And you talk about your future. You're a junior. Tell us about what you're thinking about uh, going down the road for college, uh, number one in your class. And, of course, you're a pretty darn good wrestler. Are both of those uh, – tell us about if you have any thoughts on, on if you're definitely going to wrestle in college and, and what you're thinking about studying, if you have some thoughts there. I'd love to wrestle in college, honestly. I think it would be great for me. Um, it keeps me focused a lot, wrestling does. Uh, it it'll make me – have to pay attention to my studies and all that too um really i'm thinking about going somewhere ivy league that would be the best for me in my opinion and i i'm really good with math so i think something with engineering probably all right well i'm sure there's a nice list of schools uh that would love to have you as well chase the way you're wrestling and uh, the job you're doing in the classroom and uh uh, Steve, always great talking with you guys and checking in and, and seeing some great things happen there at Walla Pop Pack and uh, continue the tradition of some great wrestling and some very good student-athletes as well. Uh, Steve Krishnowski, thank you so much. And, of course, Chase Gallick, uh, thank you, and we wish you well this weekend at Regionals. Thank you, John. Appreciate it. Okay. That's Chase Gallick for Walla Pop Pack, Steve Krishnowski, the head coach for the wrestling program here on the John Mandola Show, driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers.